Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to New Honor Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to export to YouTube through iMovie. And uh, this is, let's say you've already created a project, let me just launch iMovie here and show you guys. But uh, you've already created a project, done editing, now you want to put it straight to YouTube. You don't want to export it to your desktop, you don't want to export it to iTunes, you want to go straight to YouTube. Um, this previously did not work for me so I didn't bother making a tutorial on it. But since the new update, with along with Yosemite, um, which was uh, iMovie 10.0.6, which is what I'm currently running. Uh, as soon as you get that, you will be able to, you shouldn't have any problems exporting straight to YouTube. For example, here's I'm within my event, iMovie Tutorials, and uh, we did switch this around a little bit, and be sure to check out my update ver video, previous video, 10.0.6 update video, and uh, we did switch this around a little bit, but for example here we do have a project here, it's perfectly made, it's all ready for me to export and this is going to be a test video export and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight up to the top right hand corner of my screen and hit this share option. It used to be back over here to the left but with the new update it's going to be over here to the right. So I'm going to go hit that share button I'm going to go instead of file as we normally do, we're going to go straight to YouTube and uh, we're going to go just name my tutorial, description is going to be the videos about my tutorial, tags is just going to have one tag, we'll edit the tags later, the size, let's go 1080p because that is available, the category is going to be film and animation and we're going to set this video to private because there's really nobody I want to see this awesome video. So from here on what you want to do is you can make sure you make sure all your footage is here as you want it also go to your uh, account here you want to connect it if you haven't connected an account it will prompt you to do this first but also go to and for your account name just put in most of the time it's going to be your email address that's connected to that account or it will be your username most of the time i just go in with your email address first then go in with your password and then remember this password in my keychain just hit ok it should verify if it doesn't let you go through that means you got one of those wrong you got your account name wrong or you got your password wrong most of the time it's your password so go ahead it'll tell you the estimated size here but that's really not important and then uh, from here just make sure you got your quality set up and then just hit next from here I'll give you a little copyright make sure you own all the footage and uh, from here, you're going to hit export, hit next, and you'll see this little progress bar at the very top right hand corner. It says right here, publishing my tutorial to YouTube, writing my tutorial HD 1080p point video dot, dot MOV to YouTube. And it's, it will be the supported format. And since mine is only 22 seconds long, wow, my iMovie just <laughs> flipped out there for a second, went off the screen. But since my iMovie's own, I mean my video here project is only 22 seconds long, this should not take very long. I don't know why, but my iMovie keeps wanting to go somewhere else. That is not what I want. So there we go. Okay, I'm just trying to look at the progress bar here. Okay, there it goes. It says one minute estimated time. Since it is in 1080p, it might take a little bit longer. But now I'm gonna go straight to my YouTube channel and take a look here. Refresh the videos page, and you should be able to see it here pop up after just a little bit showing that it's there yet there it is my tutorial as you see processing if you go to I'm gonna go info and settings as you can see it's just got all the basics in it which you can change as you go on but I'm gonna go back to the video back to the video manager and you can see the video here is still processing I'm gonna minimize this again and there you are it just finished share successful and you can go to hit that visit button option it'll take you straight to the video and uh, since it's, it is still processing, it's still basically updating, uploading YouTube, this will have to go in through a little bit longer. So I'm going to exit out of this page. I'm going to go back to my videos page. Refresh this again and wait till that processing symbol is gone, basically. That means I can actually watch the video. So let's click on the video again. Yeah, it's still processing. So I'm going to exit out again. Refresh it. And uh, as you can see, we did export this project, which is 22 seconds long. I'm going to minimize this again, go back to the page, and refresh it. And there we go, we got a thumbnail already in there, or a default thumbnail. Most of the time you want to set your own thumbnails. Just a suggestion, I'm going to go back in the video, and there you go. You see it's really bad quality right now, only 10, 240p and 720p. For 1080p to show up, which is what we originally exported as, you know, I'd probably have to give it a little bit longer to do that. As you can see, the quality does increase as you change the quality. 1080p is not yet available. Let's see if we refresh it. Since it is only 22 seconds, it should be available pretty fast. Yeah, there they are. There's 1080p right there. As you can see, I see in the quality, and it goes full screen too, and it shouldn't shouldn't be no pro should be no problem at all. And it's just as good a quality. It shouldn't it shouldn't be blurry. You just give it some time. It, if you do have a longer video, it will definitely take longer than what it just took me. It went 
it's it's a lot faster but basically just because of the length of video but for this purpose I'm gonna delete this video now just because it is kind of useless <clears throat> but other than that you guys that's how you share directly to YouTube if you have any questions or if you're having any problems be sure to let me know I will be getting back to you as soon as possible other than that you guys thank you guys for watching this tutorial be sure to check out my other tutorials I have uh, 50 plus iMovie tutorials have a link in the description for the playlist of those tutorials catch you guys next video and a little later let my life be the proof the proof of your love.